I got the chance to go to Akuto um, for this ABBF conference. And Akuto is this beautiful little Italian town that's situated above the clouds on this mountain. And I got to actually engage as a 15 year old with people who were so much more experienced in life in general and with extraordinary businesses. Um, and we got to have this meaningful intergenerational discourse. So you may ask, what is EBBF? EBBF is the ethical business building the future. We like to say people building the future. So really what the emphasis on EBBF is, is to really understand people, allow people to connect with other great ideas, not just accept rules or theories, but actually create them. What I love about EBBF is that it combines this sort of practical approach to business with these very deep spiritual values about how can you make the world a better place in a very pragmatic way. I've been a member of EBBF ever since I decided to move into the ex-Soviet bloc and work and I felt that I needed certain supports and certain information and, and ideas about my work in this region of, of the world. Honestly, it's far exceeded my expectations. It's just been energizing and um, just an amazing community of people to come together. At this conference, there was a marine biologist who's an expert in coral reefs. There was a lawyer who works at the World Court. There was also a woman who's starting up a business about youth finding their passions to move towards their purpose and to help the world. And then there was a playwright who wrote this incredible play, which I personally love. I was teaching MBA students and heavily involved as a management consultant. And to find like-minded people who were interested in spiritual values and morality and ethics and doing the right thing, it gave me a community. EBBF is an environment in which uh, you, one can learn from everybody's experiences in the field of applying ethics and morals into the world of business, economics, and work. In our society, there's a big misconception about success. And success is often looked at as being rich, having a big family, having a big house, many material belongings. And when a person hears the word business, it is very rarely associated with the word service. And what this conference is doing is completely turning that notion upside down. I'm in the world of investment banking and private equity and to see the important social values and how they, they become actually drivers for running um, investments and all the other important factors that one has to look out for besides profitability that are important for a successful business. I think it's important for us to understand the relationship between um, human rights, the private sector, and the sustainable development goals. The conversation started to morph into how do we prepare the next generation for this difficult future that they have ahead of them. ABBF to me is a, like a home that I come back to and that sort of um, stretches me as well as reinforces what I try to be and do and at the same time it always stretches me into new insights, new directions, uh, new actions. You know, I'm a son of a strawberry farmer, I, you know, and I, I, was, I came to EBBF conference without really knowing anything about ethics and business. I was just interested and these people, they, you know, listened to me, answered my questions, and, and this 15 year, years of journey where I have had ups and downs in my life, uh, it has completely transformed me, how I am a person, how I do business, how I educate my kids. Even though I wouldn't say I'm a particularly um, experienced or even articulate youth voice, they were really interested in my perspective. It's a place where what if scenarios really happen? What if I tried this? What is the crazy ideas that you do not dare to take to your company or your organization? Here you can make them happen.